All right, now let's talk about NCAA football. Um, it's coming back. And if you guys were anything like me as a kid, you played NCAA religiously until it got canceled after NCAA 14. That was the last one. I played that game so much. I played that game all the time. And I was in love with the NCAA uh, franchise as a kid. I thought it was, like, the coolest thing to play as college players. Um, I thought, you know, all the read option and triple option plays were so cool. But like many people, my favorite game mode was Dynasty. You know, being able to take control of a team, whether as a coach, an offensive coordinator, or whatever, and to completely turn a program around and rebuild, you know, Abilene Christian. I'm just going to make up a team. You know, that, like, that was such a fun appeal of college. But one thing that always kind of stuck out like a sore thumb to me was unless you kind of downloaded some uh, roster that somebody else made, you didn't have the players' names in NCAA football. You didn't have um, the ability to play as Derrick Henry or Johnny Manziel or, you know, you, you guys, you had guys from the past, maybe like old Heisman winners and stuff, but you weren't able to play as the current crop of college football players. Well, it looks like that problem is now solved in NCAA football. Thank God. Um, as you guys may or may not know, NCAA football has come back, and it's going to be released in the summer of 2024. I thought it was going to be released this year, but I'll, I can wait a year. Um, it's going to be released in the summer of 2024, and there's a report out now that it will include the name, image, and likeness of college football players present in college football in 2024. And that's big. That is huge news. I absolutely love that, the fact that you'll be able to play as real-life college football players. I think that's great. I think this is um, a benefactor of the NIL popular popularization in the college football landscape. I think the fact that uh, players are now being able to make money off of their likeness and the fact that they're able to you know, brand themselves more, I think is great for the game of college football, but it's also clearly the key factor in including these players' real image and likeness in the football game. Um, now, the exact how, you know, whereabouts of what's going to happen with the finances is still a little, you know, murky. Um, my guess would be that each player is going to get a check of some kind to allow their likeness to be in the game. Uh, maybe some of the more big time players might ask for a little bit more, or maybe it's going to be a check just written to the team. I don't know exactly how it's going to go, but I do know with that now the power of NIL and the, you know, monetiz monetization of the collegiate athlete being, uh, you know, socially acceptable in the college football world, it's going to happen. And this is very exciting for me. I'm very excited to be able to play as the real college football players, be able to play um, as all of these guys, you know, incoming recruits, everything like that. And, you know, imagine, um, if how, imagine how it is for these athletes, man. I mean, you know, you're probably, a, when you're coming out of high school and, you know, maybe you're a walk-on at a big school or maybe you're playing at, you know, just some lowly FBS school. But to see your name in the video game, I think would be really, really cool. And I think that it's going to be cool for a lot of kids, a lot of high. Now, you know, not every not every college athlete's Caleb Williams, right? Some of these guys are not going to make the league. Some of these guys are not going to play beyond you know the next one or two years at their university. The fact that they can be in a video game is really cool for them. Additionally, they might get paid a little bit to be that, so that's awesome. Um, I'm always in favor of the student athletes, and I think that any way we can enhance their collegiate experience is awesome. Very excited to play as the as the actual students, and I think that. Um, you know, we're going to have some fun. We're going to have some fun with the new NCAA. I also heard a rumor that they are going to be prioritizing dynasty mode, which is one of the biggest mistakes that Madden makes. They do not give a shit about franchise. They put all their time, money, and resources into ultimate team. NCAA doesn't sound like that. It sounds like they're actually going to put a lot more um, into dynasty than Madden does, which is great because, like I said, myself and many others' favorite game mode was always dynasty. I think in college football, Dynasty just holds a little bit more because, um, you know, it's, it's just a little different than the NFL. You know, NFL, you have the draft, but in, in college, you know, you can scout guys, you can recruit guys. You know, it's, it's a whole thing. And I just love the dynamic that Dynasty brought to NCAA 14 specifically. Um, and it looks like it's coming back bigger, better, and stronger. So I'm very excited for NCAA 14. I'm um, sorry, NCAA 2024, excuse me. And um, I hope that you guys are as well. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of NCAA football and how excited you are to finally be able to play as your favorite college athletes.